translating hexagons, and you are everybody. And everyone is a telephone operator, I've used this joke before. This is by Road 2, Gateway to Glimmer, and I'm going to start with Zephyr. I wasn't going to, and then I decided that I would, because... If memory serves, this level has at least one, if not two, fairly lengthy orb side quests, and so... Dedicate an entire episode to it, why not? First, the story. Why don't I talk over those? So yeah, the whole deal here is we have the land blubbers versus the breeze builders who are the birds. I'll let this guy explain. Okay, Spyro. Looks like we got us a bit of a situation here. The breeze builders have got us pinned down and we've been waiting for a volunteer to blow up their munitions building. Looks like you're it. According to whom? Goodness. Also, the uh, look, the talisman's probably going to be a bomb. So... Perhaps this isn't the best political climate to be doing this level, but hey, it's part of this homeworld and we'd have to do it eventually. So why not start with it, obviously. So the whole dealio here is... BIRDS! Just... it's like... what was that film called? Birdemic, that's it. I was gonna say Birdmageddon. Um, the bird apocalypse. So yes, the breeze builders are a bunch of bitchy boom birds that blow up. Can I alliterate a bit more? Can I force some alliteration? May I have a thorn? So, yeah, and you, you might be able to infer that um, because this level is partnered with Breeze Harbour, that Breeze Harbour is the homeworld of the Breeze Builders, and that they're probably under attack by the Land Blubbers, and I forgot that these birds will in fact dive bomb you. If you... I don't know what triggers them, but they can... that's how you attack them. Well, whatever. There is a secondary means of attack which we will get to in just a moment. Also, this bit, just specifically this bit, reminds me of both Colossus and Glimmer at the same time. Pardon me while I exit the trench. Are you going to attack me yet? Fight me. I'll fight you. Where are you getting these bombs from? So, I do like the, the whole thing of the birds kind of help each other out. Like, the fly ones get the bombs, the little ones then spit them out. It's, it's, it's an interesting design. Dang cannon just ain't working for me. Do you think you can blast that bird, soldier? Jump up here and give it a try! Ah, uh, canons. I didn't realise there weren't any of those in Summer Forest, because I'm sort of familiar with them from the second game, because I'm fairly sure that cannons are fairly well used in the second game, of uh, the third game, because this is the second game, in, in this and Year of the Dragon. I will fight you, Zoe. No. That, but they weren't... I, I, I guess that, yeah, there were cannons in the first game, but not, not quite in the same capacity. Also, we have um, vases on balloons. Nuns on Ripple. And I thought maybe I'd have to blast those birds from back here with this cannon. This isn't necessarily why this level takes a while, but this can be a contributing factor, and you know what? No, I'm just going to get up here and woof them in the face myself. But first, what what did I blow up this for? Nothing but gems, so upon replete replete paythroughs, yes. That room is entirely useless if you've already got the gems from it. Why is it that I get so exposition-y in in these episodes, like, my Let's Plays aren't normally like this, I'm not normally all about the explanation times. Excuse you? You're gonna fight me as well? Wh where do you keep going from? My god. Do you not- do you not contain spirit particles? Does it not matter if I don't kill you? I'm fairly sure that's not how it works, but okay. If we're running low on spirit particles, I guess I'll come back. And I would talk to this guy again, but he's probably just gonna give me controls for how to use the cannon, even though I've used it to greatest effect already. Unless you count using it to blow the other birds out of the sky, but... I tried that and I wasn't very good at it, so... There aren't any power-ups in this level anyway, there aren't any power-up gates, so we don't need to worry about getting spirit particles anyway, but, you know, completion, even though that's the one collectible that does reset every time you exit and re-enter a level. Also, you might notice the, um aesthetic of, oh, hey, there's these tough guys that throw exploding barrels. Totally haven't seen that in the last homeworld of the previous game or anything. I, I don't know, it's, it's a nice little callback. A secondary thought on the uh, the small birds that that receive ammunition from the bigger ones. It's like, that, that's what actual bird chicks do. They sort of scream until you feed them. So it's precious. But, like, a really clever idea for a, an enemy, I guess? That's one thing, though. 
of the two Zephyr levels, I don't, I don't like, like, I prefer Breeze Harbor, formerly Zephyr Harbor. Because, like, this used to be Zephyr Meadows, and now it's just Zephyr. Not a big fan of, of one-word level names. Excuse you. <laughs> Saved by the hover, and then by a corner. You can just stop. I don't normally get hit by, by that particular enemy, I'm just... Be, I just need to be on... Le, uh, yeah, le, get good. That's... <laughs> oh. Somehow I get the impression that, um... It wasn't that one of the birds earlier dive-bombed me to death, it just... Flew in close, dropped a bomb, and then flew away. So it didn't respawn. It was just being an, a noodle. So I'm probably, I am probably, am going to have to go back and kill him if I want to get a, a perfect spirit particle score. But the game doesn't track it once you leave the level. It's very much an ephemeral score, much like the uh, the musical notes in Banjo Kazooie. Doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Also, the, with these guys, they don't drop the TNT barrels like they do in um, in the first game. So they don't continue as separate objects or entities from the enemies once the enemies that hold them are dead. New. Oh, that was too new. Whoa, trivializing munitions and stuff. But yes, being the way that I do, I forgot to blow open the door. Oh well, we needed these gems anyway. I'd, I'd imagine that the whole point is for you to take the side of, of the Breeze Builders, or at the very least to prefer the Breeze Builders level. Because birds versus blobs. Who would, who apart from like aviophobes, and I mean that in someone who is legitimately scared of birds, not someone who is bird racist, which I don't even know what that would be. Oh yeah, that's the one with the stuff in it. I forgot about that. Woo, we blew it up, and then we're gonna get warped over there. No, we're not, okay. I've forgotten how this game works. Like. Apart from people who are legit scared of birds, who- Oh, they, they do have spirit particles in them. Well, eggs and bacon, my priorities were incorrect. But, like, apart from people who are scared of birds, who would take the side of blobs in a war of blobs versus birds? Because birds are just so good. Wow! What an explosion! It sure is a good thing I have my helmet on. Oh, yeah. Uh, the colonel wanted me to give this talisman to you if you got through the breeze builder defenses. Good job, soldier. And the talisman is a literal cherry bomb, because it's like it's a bomb that looks like a cherry, which is literally what a cherry bomb is. Never mind. But it's also cherry in color. They knew what they were doing. So that's the main body level. But then there's the whole bit down here, and this is where things get slightly fucky, because that's the main body of the level. It took us just shy of ten minutes to do. But then we have these little mint chocolate Christmases. And I don't know if, if cowlicks are a real thing. That's what these things are called. C-O-W-L-E-K. But we need to herd them. There's a lot of them. I think there are two orbs for doing this, and there's another orb as well for a separate side quest, which is my favorite in the game, I think, but also one of the most time-consuming. Also, good thing we went and got the, uh, the ladder climbing skill. I mean, damn, I, I forgot that was a thing in this level. Because... I'm just so spoiled for having played this game before and knowing what the game wants me to do and being able to use all these abilities that I forgot were unlockable or that I hadn't forgotten but the, the, the... I'm used to having all the abilities, okay? Anyway, you there, what's your deal? My name is Little Bo Peep and I have lost my cowlicks. With these battles going on all the time, they keep running away. Can you help me get them back into my pen? I admit, I do like this whole idea of Oh hey, it's little Bo Peep, and they look absolutely nothing like the fairy tales would have you, like, believe. Like, oh, it's not this adorable little milkmaidy girl, it's one of the land blubbers. And they, I don't think they actually mention in this level that they're called land blubbers, but we find out in Breeze Harbor, don't worry. So that's three of them. I don't, like, I seem to recall that there are seven in total, and you need to get five, f oh, there, there is a, okay, there, there is a power pin here after all, but apparently, okay, thank you. <laughs> That's, okay, I'm sorry, not to play up to stereotypes, but that is such a British thing. There's just, someone's trying to bomb me in the face, I receive it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, I'd forgotten that this was here. So, okay, worry slightly about, okay, I'm gonna not take damage because your aim is terrible. I actually legit forgot that this was here. I mean, I already said that, so that shouldn't come as a surprise at this point, but yay, fire and woofs. I don't 
believe we need this for anything else. Oh yeah, hang on a minute. No, we do need it to get you out because um, uh, but both of you apparently. Yeah, there are definitely more than five because uh, there are others elsewhere in the level that we've not been yet, but that I remember from my youth. So yeah, I unless I'm quite mistaken, the super flame makes them jump up super high, and we need them we need extra bonus height to get them out of this woof canal and back down into the land area. Oh, that one is already up there. Well, that's good. Ah, oh, there are so many gems down here! And in case I didn't already specify, Super Flame, of course, being Super Flame, can indeed smash open vases. So, yeah, you can breathe or you can burp up this glass of spicy Pepsi in order to open universities. Yes. And then there's this! It does that. I do like these. It's... You don't see very many of them in this particular game. They do it a lot more in the Game Boy Advance games. But you do get them occasionally in this and the third game. Where I don't I don't think there were any in um in the first game, but yeah. You destroy them and then they go somewhere else. And that's it. It's sort of an elongated game of hide and seek. Just keep finding it over and over again, and when once you find it in the last place that it hides, then you get to keep whatever's inside it, and it's always gems. So, that's a thing. Now, is this the... Okay, yes, good, the pen is just there. In with you. Excuse... Did you just bounce off one of your comrades? How dare you? Okay, there, there's... I was having a discussion with my mother before I started recording about words that can be pronounced more than one way. What is the correct way of pronouncing them? I've always said comrade, but some people say comrade. Is the E silent, or is it elongative? Answers on a postcard, please. Thanks, Spyro. Here's a little something, you know, for the effort. Whoa, we got an orb for effort. But there are more. But wait, there's more. There are two more cowlicks out there somewhere, but I haven't seen them in days. I feel as though the exact two that that's in reference to are the ones that are the ones that we just got. That was interesting grammar, but... There are ones through here as well, and they are quite a way away, as you can tell. But also, other side quest. What light from yonder window breaks? That window up there, dummy. The professor said he was working on a way to help me get back with Juliet, but I haven't seen him in a long time. I appreciate what's being done here, because it's like... You got Romeo and Juliet. Tragic romance but also they're from opposing factions, which is what the story was in Romeo and Juliet. Because, you know, Capulets and the other ones. I, I, I know my classical Shakespeare, don't test me. Uh, nope, nope, no, nope. <laughs> oh, well, there's one of the cow looks anyway. I guess I should probably get this one back first, just to be a responsible bubble. And also to hide the fact that I, hold on. Uh, no, I've, I've nearly got it. Montague, that's it. Romeo, Romeo Montague and Juliet Capulet. Which, what was Shakespeare thinking? Naming her Juliet Capulet. I think we may need the super flame for this. Well, that's... Ain't that a kiss in the pisser? What? <laughs> but yeah, other words that can be pronounced more than one way. I object to anyone who pronounces it privacy or advertisement. Like, no, it's... Privacy and advertisement and controversy, not controversy. See, my way is the correct way and everyone else is wrong. Uh, but I do like, like, okay, there's another one of the cow fucks. Well, you know. <laughs> I should probably at least herd it into a, a safe place before starting on this little side shoop. But yes, th this, you may have noticed these things, I, I guess they're pentagons, on, on the floor. They are a thing, indeed. Hang on, I want to give this an honest go, see if I can... Oh, you can just charge them across. Oh, well, that changes things. Well, don't mind me, I'm just going to get this back to the pen first. Oh yeah, they go a lot further when you charge them compared to when you flame them. Okay, well, I'll see you back at the professor then. Right, okay, so there was a side, there, well, rather there is or will be a side mission like this in the third game as well, but I feel like this one does it better, and I can't explain why I like it, so... Spyro, my boy, I've got a magic bean, uh, I mean seed, for you in here somewhere. Uh, here it is. Why don't you plant it in the ground and see what grows?
Aiming the seed by holding down the triangle button will make this easier. Oh, and if you ever need your seed back, just flame the plant and it will turn back into a seed again. Because that's exactly how agriculture works. But is this agriculture or horticulture? What What is the difference? Now, logic would dictate that you plant it here. I, I guess we should. There's another seed up there after all. Now, you can, if you're really clever, plant it in this second patch. And then if you time your jumps just right, you can, like, get on top of that. I have done it before as a child. And also... Wait, no, hang on a minute. No, hang on. I'm having a dumb moment. I was going to say, let's get that second seed and then go over here. But we need to go over here first, because there's another seed up there. Also, there is a tiny bit of auto-aim if you're just close enough, like that. So yes, there's a single gem and another seed over here. You sort of do have to come and get it. Unless you're unless you're able to do that fancy little jump trick that I attempted to show off and failed, but... Eh, it, I'm going to give it another go, but no promises. Yeah, no. You have to be positioned in just the right place and at just the right time for it to, like, form the platform underneath you as you jump. I'm I'm not going to do what I tried to do with, um, with Jabu Jabu's belly in Master Quest, where I know it's possible to get in there as an adult. I tried, and I didn't do very well at it. This, I know, can be done, but I'm not going to waste you lovely people's this time by trying to do it to, to your faces. It's just, it's a thing that you can do, but just take my word for it. Find someone more skilled than I. Someone who has more eyes than skills. That would be me. I have two eyes and no skills. <laughs> uh, and yet, and yet, if you say that to my face, I will be insulted. But I can say it to myself because I am me. You don't say. Now here's a fun one. Because like, you're up here and then there's that down there and you've got to be like, POO! And then that just sort of grows. And I like that because it's like, why the fuck does it look like that? It's, it's, it's a three. It's a triple. It's a triple slippery nipple. Which, totally unrelated, but uh, there is a type of drink that's called a slippery nipple. And then there's a version of that that's called a shitty nipple. And I, ad I educated one of my friends in the nature of the shitty nipple. And his response was, well, I hope it doesn't taste like one. And I'm like, what, like a shitty, like a nipple that's been shat upon? And he's like, no, like a shoe. Yes, like a nipple that's been shat upon. And I'm like, well... I mean, I just showed you the recipe. I thought maybe you were saying, it, I hope it doesn't taste like the recipe, which, why would it not? Those are its ingredients. What am I even on about? Well done, my boy! Here are two more seeds to get you the rest of the way. Though, and take this with you if you don't mind. It's been cluttering up my pockets. My boy. I'd forgotten just how much he calls you my boy in this mission. Or in general, for that matter. So we have two more seeds. Don't plant one here. I mean, yes, but not yet. Now, I I think you may be able to do some sort of fancy jump with this platform as well, this middle one, as far as, like, planting the seed and landing on the seed as it grows, but I don't remember if that's possible at all. But as you, as you can see, like, this is sort of, this isn't even, this is well past the halfway point. This isn't anywhere. This isn't... <laughs> this is so... There are so many things that this isn't. What is this, Tess? So, yeah, you can't stand on that platform at its original height when there's a plant in there, is what I'm trying to say. That's why you have to wait and like get both seeds over here and then plant one, because otherwise you won't be able to get across, unless you use some sort of fancy charge jump. I don't know. Anyway, now we have completion. Hello there, Juliet. Romeo! Romeo! Where f*** art thou, Romeo? Oh, there's Romeo! You can have this, I don't need it anymore. That's not what wherefore means. Ah, oh, God. But I do like the, the extra subversion that Juliet may not be female, or, or like, maybe she's transgender? I don't know. I just... Maybe she's just got a, a voice that doesn't typically match the stereotype of Juliet. I don't know. But anyway, I, I would cut while I get that last cow look back, but I, I kind of want to bitch about this. Everyone else going off about that, um, that one kid in the Pewter City gym in the Pokemon games talking about, oh, you're so-and-so light years away from challenging Brock. Well, first of all, yes, light years are a, a measure of, of distance, not time, but that actually means that what he says makes perfect sense. You know, into, like, distance in terms of a chasm of skill, rather than, oh, you know, it will take you X amount of time before you're good enough. That's not what he means. What I'm getting all pent up about is... 
wherefore, like the response to wherefore is therefore, not you know, it, it, it means why. In the original Romeo, every, this is the bit of trivia that everyone actually knows. But wherefore art thou Romeo? As in, why are you Romeo? Why are you a Montague and I'm a Capulet and our families hate each other and yet I love you? That's what that means. It's not just where is he. My God, developers get good. Stop bouncing off each other, you with your asses that look like mint chocolate chip. Fuck. Gah. Well, I am impressed. You got all seven cowlicks for me. Here's a fair reward. Why, thank you. So we have all four orbs. We don't have all the gems, though. Oh, yeah, because I was so ready to just cut to the end of the level and be done with it, but I just remembered we still have the, uh, the vase to chase around, the, the question vase. I don't remember where it is. This may take a while. So, uh, give me just a moment. <laughs> Oh, well, there it is. Just up the whirlwind from that lower area. It's just right there at the top. And that I recognize as being at the beginning of the level. Apparently there isn't much to this particular vase quest. I remember there being more of them than there are. But know that there's... There's this, and I think maybe... I, I can't think of any other levels off the top of my head that definitely have them. But I know... I know they are a, a recurring thing. I can think of one level in the next game that has one anyway. I like it as a concept. And there it is, right at the start of the level, just to mess with your head. Come on, fight me, sir. Okay, don't fight me then. My goodness, my Guinness. Also, there's a rainbow here for some reason. Woo! <laughs> Please tell me this is all the gems so that we can go home and have a pancake. Mm, oh. It didn't look like it was going to be. Well, I shall give one last go at fighting this bird. And succeed. Well, that's a, a fine note to close on. Now give me a moment to double check. Yep, we are completely done here, so I will just meet you back at the end portal. It's weird, Zephyr doesn't strike me as a really long level, but a long level indeed it is. But hey, we beat it 100%. Classic Wily e. Coyote style humour, except this time the blubbers win rather than the bird. Well, I haven't decided what level I'll do in the next episode, but I can guarantee. I th well, I could guarantee. I think that's the biggest level in Autumn Plains. That's all 100% done with now. Because the others, I don't remember any other level being as big as that, or at least as time consuming. I blame the Cowlicks personally, even though I'm probably completely wrong. So in the next episode, maybe Breeze Harbour to continue the story. Maybe I'll start on the Skelos levels. I don't know, I'll decide there and then. But for now, I have been and will continue to be Desolating Hexagons, and I will see you in that episode for that, and maybe other ones as well. Good boo!